That's it. Oh, that's it. Thank you very much. Ignore Adrian, just down here. Hands up when you want to get a look at you. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I thank the party leaders for their kind words too. Uh, long may they continue. And last but most importantly, can I thank my fellow members of Parliament for giving me the honour and the privilege of being your nominee as the next First Minister of Scotland. My pledge today to every citizen of our country is simple, but it is heartfelt. I will be First Minister for all of Scotland. Regardless of your politics or your point of view, my job is to serve you, and I promise that I will do so to the very best of my ability. You know, the political firmament, the tectonic plates in Scottish politics have shifted tonight. What we're seeing is a historic watershed. Now, I don't think that's happened overnight. I don't even think it's happened just since the referendum, although I think that has obviously had a big impact. But Labour's been losing touch with the Scottish people over many years now. And tonight, the Scottish people have put their trust in the SNP to make Scotland's voice heard. The SNP's victory in the election on Thursday was of historic proportions. Uh, we won our third consecutive victory in a Scottish Parliament election. As things stand, Scotland faces the prospect of being taken out of the EU against our will. And it is therefore a statement of the obvious that the option of a second referendum must be on the table. And it is on the table. I am therefore confirming today that having listened and reflected, the Scottish Government will reset the plan I set out on March the 13th. We will not seek to introduce the legislation for an independence referendum immediately. by staying at home, uh, all of you are helping us to slow the spread of this disease, helping us to protect the NHS and ultimately helping us to save lives. Signing officer, questions have also been raised in the past about meetings I had with Alex Salmon during the investigation and so I want to address that issue now. anal tally of seats right now, it looks as if it is beyond any doubt that there will be a pro-independence majority in that Scottish Parliament. And by I'm thrilled at the SNP election result. It's you know, a record result for us in a local council election. You know, we've increased our vote share, increased the number of councillors we have. We're the biggest party in more councils now than we were going into the election. We've won a majority here in the brilliant city of Dundee. That would be an outstanding result for any party in any circumstances, but the SNP is a party 15 years into government. So it's a big big vote of confidence in the leadership the SNP provides in Scotland at national level and at local level across many parts of the country. So